if big cats are a barometer of our own planetary health, then the challenges they face are also ours. We can't save them in a vacuum. It takes collaboration of global coalitions to get the job done, which is precisely what's happening today. Here's a look at the innovations that are turning the tides for big cats and big non-cats alike. I want to welcome you all to the Jaguar Dialogue, a roadmap for conservation and inclusive green economies. The natural migration of the jaguar reflects one of the core needs of all migratory species, which is ecological connectivity. In an unprecedented effort, 14 of the 18 countries in the jaguar range adopted the jaguar 2030 Roma, the plan to achieve the conservation of this cat through regional cooperation. This is the first step to the pathway to the conservation of jaguar. This conference is important enough for us to understand the connectivity of range countries in ensuring that the Jaguar continues to be protected. We need to make Jaguar an icon for sustainable development. Recognizing the Jaguar is not just a symbol of wildlife, but it is a symbol of the planetary health. We set a lofty goal to strengthen the Jaguar corridor across range countries by securing 30 priority Jaguar landscapes by 2030, stimulating sustainable development, reducing Jaguar-human conflict, and increasing the security and connectivity of core protected landscapes. The Jaguar landscapes has a direct link to human society, human security, community livelihoods, health, and our efforts to eradicate poverty and reduce inequalities. 2030 Roadmap certainly gives us a very clear direction of where we can come together. And it's gonna take all of us in our efforts to really be able to save it and to restore and rewild some of these populations. Biodiversity and ecosystem conservation will continue to be a priority in Panama. Suriname is concerned about this species and together in collaboration with other range states, it can play an important role in the conservation of the jaguar. In Mexico, we have worked to promote sustainable development from a standpoint where harmony between economic, ecological, and social goals can be fostered. Part of what we do is empower indigenous women to provide workshops on gender, biodiversity. So what we're doing is combining community knowledge with formal scientific knowledge with Jaguar organizations. Our project focus is to conserve wildlife and their associated habitats in critical landscapes in Ecuador. Costa Rica seeks to create awareness about the need to conserve Jaguar corridors and its habitat as part of broader efforts to attain our sustainable development goals. So the idea is to help develop ecotourism in Brazil based on Jaguar viewing. You generate a different revenue with the increase in, in the lodge occupancy. You have to hire a lot more people. So now the whole family have jobs. And in some cases, the household income increased by 20 times. So now these same people, they used to see Jaguar as fast and they used to kill Jaguars. Now they protect these Jaguars because they see that their whole livelihood depends on this one single animal. The private sector is a key partner in this. We need to promote their engagement to generate benefits that also include green jobs, inclusive growth, and the transition to more sustainable productive sectors such as forestry, ranching, agriculture, and infrastructure. There's been a really interesting shift to an understanding more broadly across the corporate sector of the relevance of nature. The World Economic Forum recently produced a report that said more than half of the global economy, about $44 trillion, was dependent directly or, or indirectly on the services from nature. Microsoft has an incredible commitment to sustainability. What we decided was that we would create free software that opens up all sorts of services that you can stitch together to make robust solutions for a community. At the World Resources Institute, um, our role to play is often in the field of monitoring. We run something called Global Forest Watch. Every single week, we can see down to one-tenth of a hectare forest that's being lost in the world. We then make that available to all of the big cat areas so that you can know exactly where 
encroachment is taking place, even if it's deep in the forest. This can be exceedingly valuable to the protection of big cats. The GF has supported more than $200 million in projects that has been contributing to the conservation of big cats in nearly 20 countries over the last decade, and we will continue supporting our efforts. It's really a responsibility for companies to say, okay, I've got to understand my footprint and where, uh, where to prioritise action around nature. And it comes together with climate, obviously. If you protect nature, you get the climate solutions as well. In my time in service, I've seen the elevation of consideration for nature increase in a constructive way, but we still have a long way to go. So we know we have to do it differently. We know we can do it differently. And we must use this time that we have now as we reflate our world economies to do it right.